another walk this morning, a couple of hills north of Glen Dockart, so let's get up there. Uh, it's pretty warm for this time of year, still December. Um, I have seen a little bit of snow on the hills through the clouds that broke just five minutes ago, so it could be quite an interesting walk. Let's see, heading up the track now. Here we go, this looks like possibly the way to go. Here we go. Uh, it is early in the morning, so as the temperature rises in the next hour or two, those clouds could break up and lift. You never know. You never know the forecast. Sometimes you just gotta take your chances and go. Nice little walk to start off with. It's been a, a really dreary morning, um, but I've just got a feeling that things are going to get pretty good today. Um, the forecast wasn't great, but the clouds are just breaking up and there's no wind at all right now. So I don't think anything nasty is going to come in. Uh, about an hour in, I'm about 400 meters altitude and then heading up this one first. Look at that, just so amazing. Got my camera out to take a photo. I'll put it up if it looked any good. Well, just a wee pit stop and then off we go. You're gaining a nice bit of height here. And those wispy clouds just drifting through the valley just look absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, looking over to Crane Larrick direction. Absolutely brilliant, right? That's where I'm heading, up there. few hills. Pretty sure that's Ben Vorlich. Past Loch Ern on the way up and looking at those two lumps there. It's got to be Ben Vorlich and Stuckercroin. To the right there's a couple of peaks, possibly Ben Leddy one of them. Uh, not quite sure. It's hard to make it out with the clouds. It's looking stunning. I've just navigated up to a really flat spot that was quite obvious on the map just to get my bearings and make sure I knew where I was before heading up here so that's where we're going now Let's crack on up there into the abyss
and that's looking west over to Meal Glass over there. <sighs> Looks far away. This is going to be a long day, I think. Uh, we'll see how we get on. So. so, not going to hang around here for too long. Might chuck another layer on and then uh, get a drink and some food down, mate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down this hill to the, the low point in between the two hills and see how I feel, check the weather um, and head up the second hill if I feel like it. So stay tuned. Well, that's me down at ground level. Quite knackered, that was a difficult descent. I uh, started off at the top there and just came straight down that. Uh, a little bit slippy and slidey. But it was okay. Now I'm at ground level, everything still looks good. Uh, trying to navigate these bogs here, so I'm going to be jumping to here, to here, to here. And then plowing on up there. But that sun's keeping me going. It's turned out to be brilliant weather, just shows you, you got to take a gamble sometimes. The forecast was uh, average. Just jump a couple of these. Oh, okay, this one a bit bigger, this one. Forecast wasn't great, but I decided to wing it and it's turned out to be absolutely amazing, so... Would you look at that? That is absolutely beautiful. Pure white. The sun reflecting off that snow. And the sun is just above Ben Moor right now. What a morale boost that is. Heading up here. That is looking really nice up there. Really need to get up there as soon as I can because I want those views. Ah, and that's where I've come from. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not at the summit yet. I'm not even on the the summit of the peak before it. But look at this. Uh, chance of Cloud Free Monroe's was 40%. Well, they got that wrong. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, I must say. And look at the view ahead. That is uh, the first peak that I'm just going to rush past before. Heading along dead ahead there and see that ridge that's heading along to the saddle centre of screen, the low point, and then heading up to Mule Glass and I can just see the cairn with my eyes. Oh, it looks absolutely stunning. Oh, this is brilliant, I must say. Right, let's get up here.
absolutely amazing. And just a look over to the, I was saying earlier, but the sun is getting lower now and casting shadows in the hills. And oh, it's just where you want a, I wish I had a good camera with a telescopic lens and, and snapping that view right there. It just looks absolutely brilliant. It's completely opened up over there. Um, God, it's hard to make out which hill is, is, is which, but oh God, it's amazing. Um, and then looking over there, it must be the Lars range over there. Oh, it just looks absolutely amazing. So, oof, I've been up here for about 15, 20 minutes already. It's, my feet are getting a bit cold, so uh, pff, absolutely amazing. Honestly, I was so um, underconfident this morning with the weather and the darkness, and it just it just didn't look like it was going to be a good day. Forecast was mediocre, but this is absolutely stunning. Um, perfect. Look at that. Oh, right, we're done. Third peak of the day, second Monroe, meal glass. And the sun is just starting to go down now. And that light is uh, coming in at a very shallow angle. It's getting a bit darker. Still the light pinging off some of these peaks, especially behind actually, look at that, to the east. I've got a big hill in front of me, but just in between that, that sharp, it's quite defined that peak, it's Ben Kruken. It's what I saw on my trip uh, a few weeks ago. That's one of the sort of really westerly Monroes. Oh, brilliant. So going by that then, I was probably right with that being Ben Starav, a little bit to the north at the bottom of Glen Etive. And there's a Monroe to the south and a few closer. And then Oh, that one in the middle might be one of the ones at the end of ben King, uh, Glen King Glass and then behind that will be the Glencoe ones up behind I can't quite see them for the hills in front Ah. Oh. That's me halfway down. I'm just gonna say goodbye now because the uh, GoPro batteries are dead. My cameras are failing. Uh, I'm freezing and it's getting dark very quickly and I've still got quite a bit to go. Um, the colors are just looking great right now. Um, I wish I could stay out longer, uh, but I need to get back down. Got to drive home as well, so. Right, well, take it easy.